Hi there. During this tutorial, you will be introduced to DataLoop LiDAR Annotation Studio. The LiDAR Annotation Studio supports three types of annotation tools, cuboid, polyline, and instance segmentation. First, let's annotate a vehicle with a cuboid. Select the label you wish to annotate. I will choose car and then zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel. You can also change the screen's point of view by pressing the space key or move around the canvas by holding the control key and dragging. To create a cuboid, click the left mouse button and draw the cuboid around the area you wish to annotate. You can edit the cuboid using the 3D editor or the canvas. The arrow attached to the cube is called a directional heading, which indicates the front of the annotated object. Adjust the direction of the arrow by rotating the cuboid. When the snap to the ground feature is activated, every new annotation automatically positions itself close to the ground. With the cuboid selected, the platform displays the distance from the cuboid to the center of the PCD file. You can also edit the cuboid using the 2D editor. A blue mark will indicate the image currently under annotation. To edit the cuboid on the 2D image, click the Open 2D Editor button located at the top of the image. This feature is crucial for accurately annotating objects that are difficult to identify in 3D. To exit the 2D editor, press the Escape. Let's explore the timeline feature. The timeline helps to visualize the start and end points of annotations. DataLoop LiDAR Studio features a linear tracker that interpolates 3D cuboids and 3D polylines. For example, after annotating a cuboid in frame number one, I can advance three frames using the frames navigator or keyboard shortcuts. Adjusting the cuboid in this new position automatically generates a keyframe. The LiDAR Studio then interpolates frames between these two keyframes, as observed with the cuboid annotations in frame number two. To define a specific start and end time for an annotation, use the designated buttons on the timeline. If an object is not visible in several frames, you can hide the annotation within that frame range. This is done by selecting Set Hidden Mode from the timeline or the canvas. Also, you can hide multiple frames. To make the annotation visible again, click Set Visible Mode. Using linear interpolation is generally more efficient. You can turn off the linear tracker by selecting None from the list. Let's explore the settings and keyboard shortcuts of the LiDAR Annotation Studio. LiDAR Studio settings enable you to customize the display of the point cloud file. Annotation Opacity. You can adjust the annotation opacity to better view the PCD scene. Point Size. You can adjust the point cloud size. Resizing the point cloud will help annotators to have a clearer view of the point clouds. Color Point by Intensity. Intensity is a valuable tool for visualizing the strength of laser returns within a LiDAR point cloud. Different materials reflect laser light with varying degrees of intensity. Color point by height. Coloring points in a LiDAR point cloud by height is a common visualization technique that helps convey information about the elevation of the terrain or objects. This feature assigns colors to points based on their height values, where lower points are colored with green color and higher points are colored with red color. Bind to Annotation Center. Enabling this configuration impacts the distance-based hiding behavior. When activated, the concealed area is determined relative to the center of the selected annotation. Conversely, when this configuration is disabled, the hidden area is aligned with the PCD file center. Hide by distance. By adjusting this scale, the canvas will filter out points not within the distance range. 
Let's explore the polyline annotation in the LiDAR annotation studio. Polyline annotation marks specific linear features that refer to any set of points that form a line in 3D point clouds. These could be natural or man-made structures, such as roads, railway tracks, power lines, rivers, or property boundaries. To create a polyline annotation, select the polyline tool and click on the canvas to begin drawing the polyline. To finish the polyline creation, press the Enter key. You can move the entire polyline by clicking and dragging it or adjust individual points to change its shape. For a clearer view of your work, you can also adjust the polyline's width. For tasks that involve annotating curved lines, using a spline is recommended. Choose the spline option in the polyline settings to create a cardinal spline on the canvas. Adjust the spline's curve by clicking on the gray points. Let's explore the Instant Segmentation tool in LiDAR Studio, designed for instance-wise segmentation of point clouds. Adjusting the setting's point size will help us see the point clouds better. To create an Instant Segmentation, first click the Add Instance button to create a new annotation with the selected label. The Instant Segmentation tool offers two applicators for annotation, the brush with adjustable brush sizes to suit your needs, and the polygon applicator. Let's annotate a car using the brush applicator. To improve the visibility of the LiDAR scene, you can click the Hide Ground button, making it easier to focus on the object for annotation. To segment the point clouds, click the left mouse button over the desired areas. Now let's annotate another car. Click Add Instance again, but this time choose the Polygon Applicator for precise segmentation. To use the Polygon Applicator, click the Polygon tool and start outlining the target area. To complete the editing process, connect the last polygon point to the first, green point, or press the Enter key. The Data Loop LiDAR Studio enables you to filter point clouds by height. Instant semantic annotation requires filtering by height to activate the most accurate annotations. The Hide Height from Top feature filters out points that are above a certain height threshold within the point cloud. This threshold is usually defined relative to the highest points in the dataset or a specified reference height. By hiding the upper portion of the data, users can focus on analyzing and annotating the more relevant sections of the point cloud. This is particularly useful when the area of interest is closer to the ground or at a specific vertical range within the point cloud. Once the annotation is complete, removing the filter allows you to verify the accuracy of the segmentation. For more information on LiDAR Annotation Studio, visit the Data Loop documentation. Thank you for watching.